Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube. My name is Zara and today I'm answering your summer feminine hygiene questions. All of these questions are from our Instagram. So if you want to be a part of our next Q&A, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Truly Beauty and we will do these question polls on our stories once per week. I just gather all your guys' best questions and answer them. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so the first question on my list is, how do I prevent a dark bikini line this summer? So I'm gonna recommend two products that I like to use together. So the first one is going to be a body scrub. So I think this is super important, especially if you wanna resurface skin that has really intense hyperpigmentation. That airplane's so loud. So I would recommend the Blueberry Kush body scrub. Actually, it is my favorite. And I love it so much because the scent, absolutely amazing. Reminds me so much of summer. It's like raspberry Jolly Ranchers. It also contains the oil of 1000 blueberries, coconut, and AHA and BHA boost, and CBD. This really works to calm down irritation and inflammation. The blueberries are really beneficial for your skin because of their high antioxidant content. And then the AHA and BHA boost, that is really common in facial skincare products. And what it really works to do is resurface your skin. It's also gonna help in regulating your oil production. So if you find that your bikini line is often really, really irritated and you feel like you're just constantly getting ingrowns, the Blueberry Kush Body Scrub is really gonna help with that. And then as well, if you really wanna clear that darkness, I recommend going in with kind of a rougher scrub. You'll notice this scrub is sugar-based. It's going to be a little bit more intense than our other scrub. So if you have super sensitive skin, I recommend using it at least two to three times a week, maybe not every single day. But the serum that I do recommend using every single day is my holy grail, and that is Jelly Booster. So this is our most popular pigment treatment. Absolutely gorgeous, my favorite blue color. And what it works to do is really just brighten any discoloration on your body. So I use it on my armpits, I use it on my knees, my elbows, even on my face for acne scars, as well as my bikini line. So it's like a master product. You can literally use this so many, so many places. So I recommend just getting your hands on this because you never know when you'll need it. Pomegranate, vitamin B12, spirulina, and eucalyptus boost. Pomegranate extract can help with a number of skincare concerns like darkness, hyperpigmentation, age spots, sunspots, really any type of uneven skin tone and texture. This serum is also so hydrating, which I think is super important, especially for areas like your bikini line. You don't want to overly dry them. You really provide your skin that much needed hydration with out clogging your pores. So I personally would not use a thick body butter or body cream on my bikini line. So this is like the perfect step you can use instead. And you'll still get that hydration and the lightness. Okay, next question. I love this question because I love smelling good. So this next question is how do I smell good all day long and how can I make my perfume last longer? I feel like when I put it on in the morning, it doesn't last as long. You wanna use a product that smells really good even in the shower. So this is like the perfect first step. And this is one of my favorite. I feel like the scent is so long lasting on your skin. And I use this product right after I use my body wash. So this is like my last step before I hop out of the shower. So this is the Unicorn Fruit Body Polish. I'm absolutely obsessed with this scent. It smells like our Unicorn Fruit products, which is a really nice cotton candy scent. But this one I find is a bit lighter. I love the way this makes my skin feel. It'll lather up and just give your skin like a really hydrated, dewy look. So you won't really need like a ton of moisturizer after using this. But like I said, it leaves like a really gentle scent on your skin. So I've actually had people compliment me when I haven't even used any perfume and I've just hopped out of the shower and used this right before before, the scent definitely lingers. But if you want your scent to last even longer before you even apply your perfume, I recommend pairing it with a body cream or butter. So this is one of my new favorites. It's our new Cake Maker Cream. And it is this gorgeous, like milky white color. It smells like vanilla bean or like a funfetti cake. It's like very vanilla-y, which I think pairs super nicely with the Unicorn Fruit Body Polish. I feel like these together is like the perfect scent. You really don't need a lot, but the texture is super, super light. When you apply this in the summer, it'll just soak onto your skin and it won't be too intense or like greasy at all. I really love that, so I apply it in the mornings. So many compliments. Again, my skin smells so, so good for so, so long. The last product is obviously my favorite perfume. This is our Unicorn Fruit Perfume. I always recommend applying this like right before you leave the house, but if you do feel like you wanna reapply throughout the day, I find it's super convenient to pop the top on. You can just put it in your purse. It doesn't leak at all, so you can really just like pop it on and then spritz, spritz a few spritzes throughout the day. I really love the way it makes me smell. It's kind of different than the Unicorn Fruit Polish. I don't really bad sense, but I find that it's like a little bit more like smoky in a way. It has other notes besides just like pure sweetness, which I really, really like. So that's my top recommendation. If you feel like your perfume is not lasting, I really recommend using some really great body care products that also have a scent and they can just kind of go super well with it. So I feel like these pair really, really nicely with the Unicorn Fruit Perfume. Okay, next question is, I like to get waxed in the summer and my skin gets so irritated, but I feel like it's the best way to remove skin. What should I do to soothe the area? This is my top recommendation after you shave. So this can be after you shave, after you wax, 
wax, after you get laser even, anything that is removing hair and leading to some irritation. So I have two products that I really like to use. These are our two Kuka products. So you can use these anywhere in your body. They're made to treat and prevent ingrowns. Kuka Concentrate is an ingrown serum. So this is a spot treatment that you would apply directly on your ingrown. So say right after you get a wax, one big ingrown pops up and you really wanna target that one spot, apply a few drops of Kuka Concentrate. Apply it two to three times a day. You can apply it every single day for a week, literally all the time. And it can help in just reducing that inflammation, irritation. The lavender is gonna help soothe the area. The tea tree oil is gonna help in that microbial, really getting rid of any bacteria. And then the Primrose also has a microbial benefit to it. I like to use this as spot treatment, like I said. And then as my hair starts to grow in after shaving or after a wax, I really recommend going in with Kuka oil. So what this works to do is just soothe down irritation. So even if you don't have ingrowns right off the bat, right after you get waxed, sometimes I feel like as your hair starts to grow in, little spots will be super irritated. The hair will grow in as an ingrown. This is going to really help in just stopping that. This product works to hydrate and clear pores. So if you find that your skin is like red or irritated, maybe you've been in a bikini all day, the edges of your bikini line are super irritated. That always happens to me, especially if it's like right after I shave. Then you just bring this in your purse. You can apply it throughout the day. It just leaves like a really nice glow. And I also find that the scent is super clean like lemongrass natural, which I personally really like the scent of, especially down there. So really recommend the Kuka bundle if you are prone to ingrowns and irritation. Okay, so my next question is, any tips to prevent butt acne in the summer? Yes. My booty is actually so prone to booty acne and especially in the summer when you're like sweating more, really flare up. So my top recommendation is going to be hop out of your wet bikini, hop out of any like sweaty clothes if you want to hike or like whatever it is you're doing. If you don't have time to cleanse the area, hopping out of dirty clothes into clean ones is going to be your best bet. Now, when you get in the shower, I have two products that I really, really recommend. So the first product is one of my favorite products at Truly and it is the Berry Cheeky Clearing Butt Polish. This just reminds me so much of summertime and if you like more berry, strawberry shortcake type scents and you want to smell good all day, this is also one of my top recommendations to include in your routine. It also has acne fighting ingredients. So it has strawberry and blueberry, which are super high in antioxidants. And it also has beta-glucane, allantine, and antioxidant boost. It has these like little black beads in it. I don't know if you can see. They're these gentle exfoliating beads. So unlike a harsher exfoliant that might irritate your hair follicles or like active acne, this is going to help in just really gently exfoliating, clearing out any clogged pores, any oil buildup, any like ingrown hairs, but it won't irritate your skin. So. If you have somewhere to be later and you wanna like do your routine in the morning, you can totally use this and your booty will actually kind of look more hydrated, more glowy, more overall like plumper, firmer, etc. So the beta-glucane really helps in reducing redness and there's also rose water in here. So it also helps in reducing redness and inflammation. So overall, this is just going to help in really calming down that red irritated look. So I like to use this in the shower and then out of the shower, one of my favorite all over body moisturizers is the Berry Cheeky Butt Butter. So this is formulated for your booty, but you can use it all over your body. And it is this gorgeous swirl as well. And this has the same key ingredients. So the polish is going to help in exfoliating. And then this is going to really help in locking in all of those beneficial ingredients that I mentioned before and help in clearing your, clearing your booty cheeks. So I definitely recommend the Berry Cheeky products. We also have a serum that's really beneficial as well. Also has same key ingredients and you can use it with these products or separately. So if you're struggling with booty acne this summer, the Bare Cheeky line is for you. And then my next question is, is there any way to shave without getting ingrowns? I always struggle with razor burn. Definitely have some recommendations. First, if you're not using an exfoliator, a shave butter, and then a really nice new razor, that might be the key reason you're getting irritation. So I like to use Blueberry Kush body scrub on my bikini line because it can help in reducing hyperpigmentation. That's gonna be my top rec. It's also gonna help in removing dead skin and clearing clogged hair follicles and reducing an ingrown pre-shave. So that's what's gonna prep your skin for a closer irritation-free shave. And then next, my top rec ever, if you get any product that I mentioned today for shaving, I really recommend a good shave butter like Coco Cloud. This gorgeous, gorgeous swirl is so, so hydrating. The vanilla, coconut milk, argan oil, white tea, and vitamin E boost really just nourish your skin. So shaving in the past used to really dry me out. And with the shave butter, I never have that experience anymore and I feel like it with my razor it just glides so so well on my skin and it doesn't tug or pull so I like to use a new razor this is my personal favorite design the truly blue razor with the gorgeous cocoa clouds on it to match Coco Cloud herself. I always use a new razor, especially when shaving my bikini line because I'm more prone to ingrowns and irritation. If you're not, you don't need to use a new razor head, but that is another tip that I have. And then I like to apply a coat of Coco Cloud onto my bikini line and then I will stand away from the shower head to not rinse it off. And then I like to shave in the direction of my hair. So it's down on most areas of my skin and then like on the sides of my leg, it's kind of at an angle. 
That I found has helped so much. If you wanna get a closer shave, you can shave up. It just really freaks me out because I am prone to irritation. So I like to just make sure I'm shaving downwards and just getting like most of your hair off. It doesn't need to be 100% perfect, but that can really help in getting rid of the irritation. And then if you actually have a razor, but you wanna get extra heads to use replacement heads for replacements, I recommend just getting our little pack. It comes with two extra razor heads. So if you are planning on traveling for a bit, or if you just want to keep these stocked up in your bathroom, it's good to have those on hand and you can just switch out your razor head more often. And then the last product that I mentioned before that I want to recommend again for your bikini line is our Kuka Concentrate. If you are so, so prone to irritation, you can actually apply a few drops of this on your hands, mix with your favorite body oil and just rub it all over your bikini line, anywhere down there that you want to prevent irritation. And that's just going to really help in minimizing the chances of getting ingrown and minimizing your redness. And my last tip when you're shaving down there is to really let your hair like grow out a decent bit. You don't need to let it grow out if you don't want to, but if you are shaving every single day and you're continuously getting ingrowns and irritation, you really just wanna give your skin like a break, even for a few days to let your hair just grow back in, kind of calm down that irritation with the cuckoo oil and concentrate, and then you can go back in and do your regular shave routine and get that close shave without irritation. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the Summer Feminine Hygiene q and I had so much fun doing it and chatting with you guys. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post videos three times a week. Oh, and I will have all the products linked for you down below, or you can always shop any of them at trulybeauty.com. I will catch you guys next time. Bye guys.